DVD era TV back at y'all live from the dirty section of YouTube with another one. Today we're going to talk about how Puerto Rican Jesus saved AZ from Harlem life. Now, if y'all don't know who Puerto Rican Jesus was, he was a well-respected dude out of Cypress Hill Projects in East New York, Brooklyn. You know, he got money in the 80s and 90s, mainly hustling, rolling dice. He got money, even though he looked like an R&B singer. He was well respected by gangsters all over. And, you know, um, he had relationships with people like Demencio, Mike Tyson, AZ, <laughs> anybody getting money, you name it. Now, he didn't rock with the A-team who was actually from his project, Cypress Hills, tutting them. He didn't rock with them. I'm not sure why. It's not really documented why they had a little feud. But what I could say is he got money and, you know, tutting them with stick up kids. So, you know, it goes hand in hand. You getting money, the stick up kids going to come get you. So that could be one of the reasons why they ain't rock with each other. And, you know, um, he ended up going to jail for a long time for hustling. In a few states, it's not clear exactly which state it could be charged with. He could be charged in more than one state. He ended up coming home. And in May 2001, he passed away. So that's just a brief little summary of who Puerto Rican Jesus was. Now, AZ, he's from Harlem, kingpin drug dealer, mainly known for his role in paid it in full as Ace. You know, he started hustling, getting a lot of money, was getting money with Al Poe and Rich Porter. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not too much of a big fan of um, AZ. He got robbed by his sister's boyfriend and he told on them and, you know, told that they was the ones that robbed them. Now, in his Vlad interview, he says he's not a snitch or a rat because he wasn't doing a crime with them. So they came and attacked him and his peoples, his family. So he had the right to tell on them because they wasn't committing a crime together. Now, me, I personally feel if you're in a street period, you never cooperate with police. You never tell them nothing. So to me, he's a rat. I guess that's why I'm not a big fan of AZ, but I can't take away from him getting money in the 80s and 90s or whatever. Big time drug dealer, definitely. And um, y'all get in that comment section and y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think AZ is a rat as well as Alpo? Now in this clip, I'm about to play for y'all. Is AZ explaining the time he was going to be killed and Puerto Rican Jesus saving him. Now I'm saying... Listen up. Well, with Jesus, me, me and two guys against Jesus and two other guys, Spanish Jesus. May his soul rest in peace, too, man. He just passed away about a year ago. Um, playing ball with Jesus. We playing ball. Some dudes pull up like four cars deep while we playing ball. They call Jesus. Brooklyn dudes. Jesus was from Brooklyn. So Jesus is talking to him for a minute. They leave. They get back in their car and leave. Jesus came over and said, yo, hey, man, the niggas came to murder you, bro. I'm like, word for what? Fuck. I don't know. I have a clue. The fuck I do, bro. Nah, your man, they said your man killed they man, Demescio, out in D.C. Now, that was audio right there of AZ explaining exactly what happened. Now, I want to touch on something else. To you dudes that be in the comment section trying to correct me when I say certain people killed certain people, especially with the whole Demencio situation. I mentioned Wayne Perry, which was a mistake. I actually met his man, did it, actually pulled the trigger. But Al Poe was behind that. Here you have it, the streets. See how the streets work? The popular person or the person that's more known is always going to take the rap. So it don't even matter who actually pull the trigger in cases. You see how them Brooklyn dudes pulled up and they was going to give it to AZ like your man killed my man out in D.C. Speaking about Al Poe. And he wasn't the one who actually pulled the trigger. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter who pulled the trigger. It's about the person that everyone knows. Know what I'm saying? Just like with celebrities. If you go with a celebrity to do a crime and the celebrity is there, he initiated everything, the celebrity is going to take the rap for the murder, even if he don't actually pull a trigger. So that's what I was just trying to explain to y'all. This is the streets right here. The streets of Brooklyn pulled up like, your man killed my man. They ain't saying nothing about no Wayne Perry. They not even saying nothing about Wayne Perry homeboy. 
the young boy, I guess he got to do the joint. Al Poe took the rap for that. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. One.